What's up everyone? Brett Wallace here, your Fort Bend County Realtor, here today in the beautiful Del Webb Sweetgrass subdivision. This is going to be one of the few communities that we profile on the channel and the website that is a 55 and up active adult community, okay? So one resident has to be 55 or older. And um, this subdivision is located right off of FM 762, Thompson Highway in Richmond, right off of Interstate 69. This subdivision has homes that are about the $200,000 price point to the $450,000 price point. If you want to get a shot down there, that is Model Home Row, which as you can tell, not many model homes anymore. That's because the community is pretty much built out. I have seen a few, um, this is early 2021 we're filming right now. There are a few homes still being uh, built, but for the most part, the community's built out. Um, we are about a mile, maybe a little bit less, right across the street from Brazos Town Center Shopping District, which is the 33rd biggest shopping district um, I've read before, okay, so don't, don't kill me on this one. Um, and while we're here, we'll just do a quick, quick entrance into the lake house. But yes, the Brazos Town Center Shopping District is the 33rd biggest as far as land square footage. It's huge, it has everything. So um, it's really, really close. There are tennis courts, you know, uh, the, the, this is the lake house. And you can tell this is where a lot of money, um, the community spent a lot of money on having cool things to do. You have tennis courts, bocce ball courts, um, you can do, there's even, if you want to, there's even kayaking on the lakes here, which there's a lake right there. Um, but this is just a very, very cool community. There's a lot of amenities for the 55 and up active, active adults. But there's indoor swimming also. We probably will be able to see it coming up here. Man, it throws me back to the YMCA days being able to swim indoors in a lap pool. But I believe that's the indoor swimming pool. You can also play pool. There is a fitness center. Um, and this community is just laced with lakes um, for walking. There's trails. It's just, a, like I said, if you, it's a Monday we're filming and there's people walking everywhere. It's right around lunchtime. Um, it's just a great, great community. There's a lot of activity. The active adults here, it's a reason it's called an active adult community. Um, and we'll, we'll proceed to kind of show some of the homes, some of the, the style, the architecture of the homes. Uh, most of the homes are traditional. I would say there's a lot of stone and brick elevation combinations, but um, you don't see much hardy plank out here. The homes are very, they're, they're, they're very nice and classy. Um, I've sold, I've, ha I've had the, the, um, the privilege to sell a couple homes out here recently and they were just beautiful homes. Um, so, okay, let's, we're going down Del Webb Boulevard right now, which is the main road through the community. All right, let's take a right right here. The home, homes range, you can get a very, very efficient, I believe two, two with a study, but um, 1,200 square feet. So it's easy to maintain. If you're living by yourself or just a two of you um, and you want a smaller home, a little patio home, these are very, very nice. And they do go all the way up. I have seen one home that's up to 3,500 square feet. Um, and that's, what, that's, that's definitely not the norm. So, um, like I said, there's tennis, bocce ball, there's regular tennis, pickleball. There's also an amphitheater that, um, you know, sunsets at the amphitheater are, are, are something that all the residents around here really, really love. And as you can see, if you, here's one of the, probably the last sections going up. Um, I'll have to get more information if they're still building. I know that they've sold some of their model homes and usually when builders sell their model homes, that's, you know, that that's, that's the end of the development. But, um, okay, cool. We're coming up on another lake and a park right here which another cool feature about this community is that if you go out the back way, you can get to Williams Way Boulevard, which is a straight shot right by another community we've profiled, Veranda, which is a Johnson development community. Um, it goes right by and it'll take you to Interstate
Interstate 69 the back way and you don't have to mess around with all the lights that are near the Brazos uh, Town Center shopping district. So there's a back way out of it and it already puts you almost on the doorstep of Sugarland, which is super cool. So there's tons of activities year round to keep you busy. This community, um, more than almost any other, everyone is so friendly and outgoing. And, and if, if you ever, you, I mean, Texas is renowned for, um, you know, neighbors helping neighbors and people looking out for each other. But whenever I go show a home here to a prospective buyer, it's almost as if, um, you know, there's always somebody walking outside and they'll say, you'll love it here. <laughs> you know, you'll hear them say, hey, just, um, you know, the, per the person's house that you live, they've taken great care of it. You'll love all the activities. And um, it's one of the few places where I don't mind my prospective buyer actually talking to people that live here or the seller sometimes is, um, a lot of people here are retired. So we'll show up at a house and the owner of the home will be standing there like waiting to host us. And, you know, in real estate, a lot of times we don't like sellers and buyers mingling. Um, you, you know, it's just a safer bet to remove that variable. But here, um, it's like, I'm as a realtor, I'm just like, hey, uh, I'll hang out, you know, give me the tour. Let, let me know what's up. What do you think about the neighborhood? So it's, um, it's definitely pretty cool. Hey, Chris, get a shot right in front. So what I, I would have to think that that small garage door might be for a golf cart or storage. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I've never seen that, but I do see people um, going about the neighborhood in golf carts. So if you have a golf cart, this is your spot. Um, a couple more things. So like I said, the friendliness and the activity, the, the, just an active community. So um, there are tons of, um, I see a lot of, whenever I'm in Richmond or Rosenberg, I'll see vans or I'll see transportation and I'll know that they're they're transporting Dell Webb and they have like events and they'll go places with their people or schedule stuff like field trips, fun stuff. And um, I, I, so I just know that they have a plethora of things to keep people busy um, and a lot of different things. And here's, I'm pretty sure you got a good shot of the lake, but this is probably one of the bigger ones. This is the central, the central part of Dell Webb Sweetgrass. And the little park and of course people are outside walking their dog see a lot of american flags here chris you want to pan to the left when we were to stay there when we go you'll see, yep everybody flies flies the uh stars and bars it's, it's um very patriotic community like i said so let's just go over quick current mls kind of um what what if you were to go on har.com or the mls the multiple listing service and just type in del web sweetgrass currently we see the average listed price point is right around two hundred and ninety thousand dollars. that's kind of like the average of what's on the market right now um you're going to probably see the average year being about 2015 1925 square feet is probably also right in the right in the middle the sweet spot and 155 dollars a square foot is what um that comes down to so yeah that looks like that section looks like there's still some to be built so um i'll have to check in with things but yeah it, it, model home road might be closed up but there's definitely some new sections so there there will be new construction going on you could probably get in on that so um I, i'll look into that and po post an update but for the most part the community's been going on a while and um there's only so much more they can build on so um that is del webb kind of in a nutshell it is an active community 55 and up and again here's the the lake house which is the feature of the neighborhood the the central kind of activity and amenity um that's the headquarters of everything so if you have any questions about Dell Web Sweetgrass, please give me a shout. My email, my phone number, everything's on the website. Give me a call. Give me a text. Give me an email. Um, if you like what you see, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And if you need anything whatsoever, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to chat with you about Dell Web Sweetgrass or anything else, Fort Bend County. And thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a great one.